Hello, so in this tutorial we are going to be making this index arm. So to start, let's start a new part and again I'm going to change my unit to metric and I'm also going to increase my image quality and click OK. And we are going to start our first sketch on the front plane. So we're going to click on the front plane and sketch and I'm just going to move this over here and I'm going to draw the circle which is we are starting with this big circle and the diameter is 41 and what we are going to do is go back to the feature extrude and we want to extrude it by the mid plane and the extrude is going to be 44 good so the next thing we are going to do is click on the front plane again and we are going to draw another sketch and normal to let's go normal to and I'm just going to move this over here and now we want to draw a corner rectangle from here something coming down like that and if you look at it over here it seems like the rectangle is all the way to the center point of that arc I just pretty much made that decision because there isn't any dimension that is saying otherwise. So what we are going to do is we know the height is 38. So we are going to, from the center point down is 38. And we also know that it is 51. So this is going to be 51. Good. So now we are going to again extrude and by the mid plane, and we are going to extrude it. If you can look over here, it is nine plus 16 plus nine because there is another one over there. Another of this nine over here, which gives us 34. Or another way you can look at it is this shape is pretty much the same as that radius, which is 17. So if that's 17, that means from this length to that is going to be 34. So that means this extrude is going to be 34 34 and we click OK so good so the next thing we're going to do is click on this top plane and draw a sketch and go number 2 and now we want to draw a circle over here somewhere here and make sure the circle and the origin point the center point of the circle and the origin point is horizontal to each other and we can click on this line convert entity and just draw a line coming out and another line coming out here and make sure your line is like an horizontal line and make this line and that circle tangent to each other and make it tangent to this circle this circle and this line also make those two tangent to each other. We know that from the this center point to the center point of this circle, which is the 17, it is 74. So we're going to add that dimension to it. That would be 70, no, not 74, excuse me, 76. So it's 76. And what we are going to do is make sure we oh, excuse me make sure we trim this off so i'm going to click the trim and i'm just going to trim that edge off and i'm also going to trim this edge off and i'm going to trim this so we have that profile so we have something like that and we are just going to extrude it we want to extrude it down and it is 16 right here so we're going to extrude it down 16 click OK and now we are almost done with this part so now we can click this face again and we draw another sketch normal 2 and I'm just going to move it over here and I'm just going to draw my circle on this face and make sure this circle and that arc is concentric to each other and we are just going to add a dimension to it and that is going to be 25 which is right here and now we are going to go back to the feature and extrude that up 3 and click OK again let's click on that top face 
and add another sketch and let's come somewhere over here and let's um, let's draw two circles make sure this circle and that arc is concentric and make sure this circle and the center point of those two circles are horizontal to each other and also make those two circles equal to each other and now let's add a dimension from let's add first add the dimension for those two circles which the dimension for this circle will be 11 and now we are going to add another dimension here from that center point which is over here is going to be 41 so we have something like that and now we are just going to go into our feature extrude cut and we want to extrude true all and click OK and again we want to click on this face and draw a sketch let's go normal to and I'm just going to move this to the side and this time we want to draw a center rectangle let's draw something like that right here click the center point of that rectangle and this origin point and make them vertical we know that 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 rectangle is going to be 16 so we're going to just add a dimension here that's going to be 16 and we know from the bottom I can't really tell if that's six or nine so um, it looks like a nine to me but if you think it's six you can make it a six let's make it a six so I'm just going to from that point from the top part down let's make it six I think that looks right let's make it six and and all we need to do now is just fully define our sketch so we can just um, just make this 20 just to fully define it and now we are just going to go back to the picture extrude cut and up to next so we extrude it back extrude cut back and click OK and the last one not the last feature we are going to cut we're just going to click on this face sketch normal two and we are going to draw a circle so the circle is on the center point of this um, other diameter or we can click the edge click that and make sure they are concentric to each other and this dimension what this dimension means is this is a limit dimension which means the smallest this circle can be is 22.17 and the largest it can be is 22.23 what I always do is I always just pick a number in between. So I just add a dimension to this. And the dimension is going to be 22.2. .2. So if you look at it, 22.2 .2 is actually somewhere in between those two numbers. And that is good. And we are just going to extrude, cut, and through all. And we are going to click OK and the last thing we need to do is just add our fillets and it says fillet is three so let's click on the fillet and we want to add a fillet to this top face and let's change it over here to three because that's too big we want to add fillet here and we want to add fillet here i think that's where i think they have it over here too and that is the only place they have the fillet over here click OK and we want to add one more fillet which is also three and to this edge and click OK and there goes the part so if I go back to my feature I mean my view click on the isometric view as you can see uh, I keep going back as you can see there you go there goes the feature over there and we, what we can do now is we can change our material um, of my appearance and go to the appearance still and I just use the stainless steel and there you go anyway thank you and I will see you in the next tutorial bye